everybody, how's it going? I am your host, Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC3 at Quicksurf Internet Studios. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. The subscription links are in the show notes over on the website. For those of you who have, thank you so much for showing your support of the show by subscribing. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the cool stuff for this episode. From Daily Digest News, Adidas to print Instagram photos on your shoes. This August, Instagram users will be able to display their vintage filtered breakfast photos on their Adidas sneakers or any other Instagram image for that matter. Adidas announced Friday that thanks to an ultra-innovative photo print app to be released on iOS and Android this August, users will be able to customize and purchase pairs of Insta-printed Adidas ZX Flux sneakers. Print your favorite photos straight onto one of 2014's hottest silhouettes and make a statement on your sneakers like never before, said Adidas, said the Adidas teaser that appeared on Instagram. So pretty interesting. Uh, not sure if I would do something of that nature, but uh, for those of you who think that's cool, definitely check it out. From the Christian Science Monitor over at csmonitor.com, the United States indicts China's PLA hackers, productive or desperate? After years of private and not-so-private complaints about the scale of Chinese government espionage against American companies, the Obama administration decided words were not enough. Today, it released indictments of five People's Liberation Army officers for a long-running conspiracy that targeted an array of U.S. companies. Will the indictments accomplish much? It's hard to see how. Extradition from China is out of the question, and Chinese retaliation against U.S. business interests in the country is possible. Um, the U.S. government's intention appears not to be to shame China into changing its ways, though it's not clear why these indictments will accomplish more than the shaming efforts the U.S. has made to date. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on this. Weird, but tech-related. From GameSpot, Samsung is making a VR headset and plans to beat Oculus and Sony to the market. Sources say tech giant behind Galaxy phones will announce the device this year and it will be less expensive than the Oculus Rift or Project Morpheus. The mobile division of technology giant Samsung is working on a virtual reality device that will be announced. Sources with the knowledge of the matter told technology blog Engadget, which also recently revealed the Halo Master Chief Collection. The uh, tipster said that the unnamed developers already have prototype versions of the headset which are reportedly powered by Galaxy devices. The final consumer model, on the other hand, is believed to run a next-generation Galaxy smartphone and or tablet. So the rumored virtual reality d device is said to be a mirror, said to mirror the Oculus Rift or Sony's Project Morpheus in form factor. Um, it should have an OLED screen that is good or better than the latest Rift development kit. Um, but what's unclear is how the headset will sync up with the phone or tablet and if it will require a separate ca camera to track depth as both the Rift and Morpheus do. So pretty interesting. Check it out. From Utah People's Post, Smart Things Ahead to Connected Home Supremacy. Smart Things announced a giant step toward the company's goal of an open Internet of Things platform, including several key updates to the SmartThings app on May 21st. The company said that it will create a better app experience that controls all of the SmartThings connected devices around their homes. The number of devices that can be connected has heightened from 5 to 10 devices. From PC Magazine, there's a video hands-on with the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 if you're interested in uh, the new Microsoft tablet that uh, Microsoft announced on Tuesday, by all means, go check out this video. Everything is linked up in the show notes uh, below. From GameSpot, YouTube supposedly is going to buy Twitch for $1 billion. Variety reports that according to sources familiar with the pact, Google use, Google's YouTube has reached a deal to acquire the video, video game streaming platform Twitch 
for more than a billion dollars. Twitch's PR director said on Twitter that Twitch doesn't comment on rumors. Obviously, they're not about to give it away. Uh, Google hasn't made an official statement yet either, but the report claims that the deal should be announced soon. According to Variety, Google is preparing for U.S. regulators to challenge the acquisition, given that YouTube is already the most popular platform for internet videos. The Justice Department could see the acquisition as anti-competitive in the online video market. So uh, Twitch, apparently, when it comes to streaming video game, uh, people playing video games and that sort of thing, is huge. I'm not much of a video game player, so it's unfortunately one of those things that I just don't uh, use much, but I can certainly see the, um, the appeal. From PC Magazine, Twitter is eyeing SoundCloud acquisition. This, this is uh, rumors flying around the internet. Twitter is rumored to be eyeing the German music sharing site SoundCloud as a possible addition to its stable of acquisitions since going public last November. The microblogging service is currently considering a deal to acquire SoundCloud, uh, RE Code reported Monday, citing unnamed sources. So now the question is, why? Well, SoundCloud claims it has 250 million users who avail themselves of the company's free audio sharing platform, build the YouTube for audio. Uh, there's a user base that's roughly the size of Twitter's own, and though there's probably some major overlap between the two of them, Twitter may just want to buy some additional users after struggling with, a, with growth post-IPO. So, who knows? 250 million users is nothing to... to <laughs> that's, that's actually a lot of users. Uh, it's nothing to be uh, uh, sad about, for sure. From Engadget, get ready, Verizon is launching improved mobile data as XLTE. That's right, Verizon has been widening its LTE data pipes for months and now looks like the carrier is ready to take full advantage of that extra headroom, an early TV ad, and details from both Droid Life and EV Leaks has revealed plans to offer its improved 4G speeds under the XLTE banner. Reportedly, that badging represents a promise of improved performance in areas where Verizon has added AWS wireless spectrum. If you live in an XLTE region, you'll get double the bandwidth and higher peak speeds. Given that those who live in the test areas have already noticed big performance boosts, that may be a realistic claim. Leaks suggest that Big Red will announce XLTE on May 19th. From the Los Angeles Times, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon are rolling out VOLTE. What is it? VOLTE. Well, uh, VOLTE, the latest in wireless networks, um, stands for voice over LTE and essentially is a technology that makes it possible for voice calls to be carried over LTE networks. Up until now, LTE has largely been data only and voice has either been CDMA or GSM or some you know, combination thereof. Uh, with VOLTE, voice and data will travel on the same network, which is kind of cool. Uh, it'll kind of allow simplification of the radios in, in future phones. Um, the benefit for consumers will be higher quality voice calls, otherwise known as HD voice. Calls made between VOLTE devices will have clearer audio with less background noise. They'll also have less dropped packets, which is when a call cuts out for a second. So, should be pretty interesting. Definitely looking forward to it. That will do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and listening. As always, everything is linked up in the show notes over at quicksurf.com or if you're watching on YouTube underneath the uh, video here. And uh, with that, I will see all of you next time. Mm -hmm.